We are back with some more Pokemon Sword, guys. We uh, just caught up with Hop about Dion defeating a Dynamax Pokemon, and we're about to head back to Hammerlock. I don't know what kind of Pokemon this guy's gonna have. <laughs> But he looks very professional, fancy. He's the type to have like a Growlithe or Arcanine. <laughs> oh, you have a Dub Blade. I encountered one earlier, but he was like level 51. And. It made me want an Aegis Slash again, but I figured, again, I was going to try to fight with Pokemon I haven't had before, other than the Gyarados. Just because right now I'm not really feeling the, the water Pokemon like that. Ooh, that's going to take Grim Snarl. Because it was a critical hit. Oh. <laughs> these and these, them and these critical hits, man. I feel like it's only right to to send out Corviknight, even though he's Steel. It's just gonna make it so he just takes like um, neutral regular damage from his uh, fighting moves. But I'm really I'm really mad about him just critical hitting Grimmsnarl like that. Flung a hard stone. That's what you used? <laughs> Out of all the moves you could have used on me right now, you, you use fling to throw a rock at me. Poltergeist. Okay. Let's send Grimmsnarl out there again. I think this is like the ghost fairy type Pokemon. Do you have Sturdy? Why didn't he take you out? <laughs> That's all I want to know. So that's what I got the cracked um, pot teapot for, was so you can evolve um, Poltergeist, I think. So I think it has one more evolution. Is that it? More trainers, there's some more Pico. I guess we'll just go this way. Cause this takes us to Hammerlock, I think. Let's heal up before anything. Just to be on the safe side. Honestly, if they... Oh, dark water. No, I already have dark. I'm trying to think of, like, what would be, like, a good water Pokemon to put on the team that's dual typing. Because I do still want, uh... Just had to check to see if I anybody was up there. I still want to get my Lodic, but... I don't know. I just want, like, a, a really cool-looking water-type Pokemon to kind of fix... Or complete the look for my team. My team looks pretty beast in my opinion. Well, if it isn't Blades. I expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all, but what all is going on here? An overflowing red light. Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot? Yeah, but why? I'm not sure what's going on. The red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we'd have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is a part of the scientist's work. Oh, it's Magnolia? 
Grand? The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know more than anyone about the darkest day, after all. Are you saying that red light and the darkest day are connected? Hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? Yeah, there must be. Thanks, I appreciate the thought, but all I could ever ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course. You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Grand, there's something I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. Okay, Grandma Power. Looks like we all know what we need to do, so you two clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. I know what I need to do, alright. Defeat that Pierre's once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah, Blades? Raihan's a tough nut to crack. Yeah, I'm wondering what's his answer to a fairy type Pokemon, because Grimmsnarl is about to be the MVP for this match. I think I already talked to him before, yeah. The long gym challenge is nearing its end, I see. Are you ready to face Hammerlock Jim and his leader, the dragon user Raihan? In that case, please ch use the changing room to change into your uniform. Alright guys, we're about to take on the last gym challenge. That uniform you wear is a symbol of all your victories. I feel your determination. Now I'd head to where all the gym trainers await. No, not the stadium, but the vault. Oh, okay. We're going to the vault. I guess that's why we need permission to go in there is because the vault is also used for gym challenges and stuff. Okay, we're just... Okay, there we go. Let's see, how many gym challenges are left, huh? Not even ten, eh? Alright then. Blade's time to explain that the great Raihan's gym mission. The rules are simple. All you've got to do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations you and your Pokemon should be capable of. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. Ooh, Sebastian looked like he ready with the heat. Yeah, that's me, Sebastian. Leader Raihan has taught me two things. First, that dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. Ah, uh, so you got something that changes up like the weather and stuff? And Sligu. So he's going to use Pelipper to use Rain Dance and something? Or is he going to use Sligu to use... Oh, Pelipper's ability, Drizzle. <laughs> That'll do it. But that's fine because we're going to do Draining Kiss on Sligu. And then Overdrive. Oh yeah, I totally forgot Overdrive hits both. Sligu's Dragon Poison, right? If so, then it's going to be times four. Not like my Pokemon just standing there like, uh, that was it. Okay, Rillaboom. Doubles. There's a lot to think about with them. It makes them difficult, but fun too. I wish he had more Pokemon. Instead of just two. I can see why you've managed to make it this far. Okay, twins. We got twins over here. It's time to face the second trainer. Come on, Camila. Oh, 
Oh, I thought she was going to say something. <laughs> and double figure out what, what, what role, 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 role each of your opponent's Pokemon play. Let's see, who do you have? Ninetales and Tornator. Does Ninetales have Sunny Day or Tornator have Sunny Day? Or whatever that ability is to make it hot. Yeah, Drought. There we go. I wasn't expecting that fire type though. I don't know, I feel like... I feel like Tornator is more of a threat. And I get to attack both this way. Shell Trap? Wait, what is... What does Shell Trap do again? I don't know, I never had a Tornado. <laughs> okay, so you have to do a physical move in order to have Shell Trap work. That makes more sense now. Either way, that Ninetales is fast if it's outspeeding both my Pokemon. I'm really mad he put Willow Wisp on uh, Grim Snarl, though. The weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. Fantastic. I could see those seven badges you have were well earned. I like how the back of their shirts are like OXO. You've made it to the third and last trainer. Your moment to shine, Aria. Let's go, Aria. Oh, maybe that's why they give you that space so if you need to you can you can heal up or something. Uh, no, we'll use Hyper. Just because we got it like that. I don't know, I think I like the combination of Grim Snarl and talk Toxtricity out there. Dang, I clicked too fast. Do you combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through, or do you have one of them support the other? Let me see what your strategy is. Yeah, let's see what Pokemon you have. So does that mean this last gym battle is going to be a double battle too? Gym Trainer Arya sent out a bomb in the snow, and... I feel like these two don't complement each other though. You have dragon fighting and then ice grass. Yeah, and like the only thing about this is like I want to take out Hakamao first. And then I can just poison jab a bomb to snow. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get what your team combination is supposed to be. I don't know, maybe I'm just not getting it. <laughs> but then again, these are just trainers. It'll be totally different when I take on Raihan, I'm sure of, because he has that steel, that steel dragon type, which makes it so... I'm gonna have to use Colossal, which is also at like a type at disadvantage. I am honored to have battled against such a talented trainer. Nice one, Blaze. You've completed my gym mission. Come on, time to head to the gym. Face me yourself. Oh, uh, we don't just fight you there. So I'm kind of wondering what he's gonna start off with. Um, I don't know, if it comes to that Dragon Steel Pokemon that he has, I'm probably going to send out Rillaboom. Just because I don't think he has anything for a Grass Pokemon, and my Rillaboom knows Brick Break, and it knows Bulldoze. But I'm pretty sure I'll just use Brick Break. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though I've got to admit I didn't think it'd be you, but I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promising. 
and you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather, he also seeks two-on-two -two battles. You must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Okay, so maybe I should have... I should have had Rillaboom out with Grimstar right now. Gym leader Raihan sent out... Oh, okay. Boom, baby. This actually works out because um, I think this gives me a chance to swap out Toxtricity with Rillaboom. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to use like a ground type move to take out Toxtricity. I totally forgot about Flygon. I was not thinking he would have a Flygon. Oh, snap. Steel Wing. Oh, I need a Draining Kiss. That's what I need to be using. Okay, we hit level 50. Yep, you were going to use a ground move. Well, I guess I can use, um... Maybe I want to use Wood Hammer on... No, because I'm pretty... Sand Condo. Okay, this... These really don't help me out at all. I wasn't expecting him to be using rock ground types. I don't know, that's just me. Okay, Rillaboom hit level 52. He almost got left behind right there, because now he's not even my highest level. Who are you paralyzing? Grimmsnarl? Oh, my Rillaboom. See, and his Duraludon could take out Grimmsnarl, I'm pretty sure of that. So I think I want to, I think I want to do Draining Kiss on Sandaconda. I'm going to Dynamax you and use, wait, does, if I do Max Quake, no, nah, we'll just Dynamax and use Max Knuckle. No, I should have did Bulldoze because that's a ground type move. Bring the storm. Hey, okay. So, he must outspeed since he got to Dynamax first. Oh, wait, no. It's because uh, Rillaboom is paralyzed. Let's go, buddy. Okay, almost have 300 health when Dynamaxed. <laughs> yeah, I knew that's who you were going for. <laughs> wow, that was nice. Oh, you know Fire Fang, wow. Of course you're paralyzed when I need you to put in work for us. <laughs> I'm gonna 
swap in Gyarados. Um, yeah, like. <laughs> what I sent Gyarados out there for, honestly, was just to do that paralyzed heal. Oh, snap. Well, I can already see that Gyarados is about to be taken out, so this will just be my chance to use Hyper Potion on Rillaboom. And maybe we should make this uh, a two-on-one battle, and I'll take out his Sandaconda. Because his, um, well, both of us are about to get knocked out of uh, Dynamax mode. Yeah, and it changes up the field too. It gets rid of that sandstorm, I think. Nope, keeps it there, I guess. bet now is to send out Colossal to help put in work. You can shrink down now. <laughs> Thank you. Now he's going to have to choose who he wants to take out first. Breaking swipe. Oh, you can hit both of us. Does that lower our speed? Oh, our attack. I need to look into the why everybody's health is being restored. Body press? Ooh, okay. And there we go. We just won, guys. Yes, sir. I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. The aftermath of this furious battle I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival, seems I would grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory, the Dragon Badge. I mean, even though you only had two Dragon Pokemon out of the four? You can now catch Pokemon of any level. You've collected all the gym badges from the Gala region. 
Now win your way through the semifinals and finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe us that much, at least, for beating us in battle here today. You've collected all the gym badges. At last, it's time for the Champion Cup. I look forward to seeing how you do in all those battles. I don't know why I emphasized on that, or improvised. Dang, I got all my words mixed up. Hey, Blades. Sorry to hold you up, but there was something I forgot. First off, as a sign of my respect, here, TM99, it contains the move Breaking Swipe. This better be a dragon move, bro. That's all I'm saying. The user swings its tail, its tough tail wildly and attacks the opposing Pokemon. This also lowers their attack stat. And secondly, here's the dragon type gym uniform, the mark of true strength. Number six, Challenger Blades. You've completed the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength to the whole region at the Champion Cup. No lie, if we got those shoes that he has, I'm wearing those shoes. <laughs> Raihan, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I've tried out lots of different strategies and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna beat you and Blades and even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Blades. Let's have another epic battle someday. An epic Blades battle? Hmm? Hmm? If you're feeling up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. Oh, dang, guys. Well, we got all the badges, so I'm feeling pretty accomplished now. It went by faster than I expected it to. Hey there, Blades. You gave Raihan a good thrashing, and that means you completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there's something we should talk over. Fine by me. That light that covered Hammerlock. It was just like the darkest day, where it said that giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Gala region. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from wishing stars that have fallen to us. But we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The legendary sword and shield. Sonya, my dearest, my lab coat is yours now. Uh, are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of this as something to help you finish that work. Hey, got Professor Sonya out here. <laughs> oh, just what I said. Y yeah. <laughs> the two heroes that protected the Gala region from the darkest day and the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned, it's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. Your hop could be the one to take down Leon, and I don't want to miss that. Not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Wydon or Windon. Go on, head to the station, or you'll miss your train. Okay, look at everybody cheering. You did it. Yep, I sure did. But guys, I'm in this episode off here because I feel like checking out that wild area and seeing what raid battles are available or what Pokemon I can now catch over there. But with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to the channel. It helps out the channel a lot. And with that said, stay sharp. Later.